today's lesson, I want to focus on getting a dominant dog like Max the Akita to walk on a loose leash. It's always challenging with a dominant dog, but it can be done through good focus, good interaction, and good consequence and reward. Right, Max? Let's go. So we got distractions here. We got Max's dad. We got Jimmy over there. And all I really want to do here is build his focus towards me so that when he sees other things, and again, I don't care what side of me he's on, I really want to build this engagement. Good boy, Max. And the more I can do that and change things up for him, hey, the more I can pull him close to me and keep this leash really loose. So now when he gets distracted, good boy. Give him a little correction and walk. Good boy. But the more dynamic I keep this walk, and he's constantly fighting to keep up with me, the less likely he's gonna to be to check out and to pull me to things. Like he's gonna pull me now to the little Malinois here. I'm gonna get hey, excited and move him away from that. Pressure isn't gonna do that. If he feels pressure here, when I'm real close to him, I start yanking him, the problem is gonna be he's gonna to try to move away from me. The more correction you give a dog on a leash when he's next to you, he's going to fight to get away. Presence to you, the closer the dog is to you, the more reward should be happening here. Good boy, good boy. Where when he's away from me, this is where I'm going to dial in the pressure. Right? When he gets distracted by, let's say, this dog over here, he's going to start or even dragging his feet here. Hey, that pressure is gonna come when I'm away from him. Right, I'm gonna get him over here by Rio. That'll be a bigger distraction for him. So when, even when his nose goes down, that's still prey drive. He's still checking out. And I'm gonna give him a correction on that. Hey, and those corrections are information so that when he gets to me, oh yeah, there we go, good boy, Max. And that's where I'm gonna give him a little reward. Don't, don't bribe the dog to do this. You see people all the time bribing. Now, if you're luring for a good focus heel, yeah, it can look like this. But the dog should know, no treats. He's still got to pay attention to me. And the faster I move, the more dynamic I move, the more the dog's going to stay and check with me. The slower and more suspicious I move, the more he's gonna to start to check out on things on the ground or whatever. So make your movement a determined movement, a quick movement and a focused movement. Don't worry if he's on your right or left for now, but here the dog will start to focus and you'll start to see that even, Max, without a leash, I still get focused because I still have dynamic movement. So you're going from a loose leash walk to a no leash walk Atta boy, good boy, Max. By being dynamic, being engaging, and putting corrections and consequence when the dog is away from you, and reward and interaction, reward and interaction when the dog is close to you. That's the fastest way to fix your loose leash walk and keep it good.